want y'all to see exactly where I'm at and then you guys are gonna learn exactly why in a hot second. All right, what is up family? I just got back in the car from Micro Center. As you can see, I got the big boy motherboard along with the big boy DDR5 round. Yeah, we call it the big boy because this stuff is not cheap as you can see. Lord, no, you can't see, but buy them on ramp. What is up, y'all? Now, I know a lot of you guys may think that I'm only, you know, Team Apple and all that, but no, no, no. On the contrary, I'm actually a computer guy. I like computers, so we are finna have some PC fun today. Yeah, you heard me. Put up the Micro Center, I grabbed a couple of things. I didn't have one of the main things I needed, which is the PC case, so I gotta wait for that to come in. But I just got a box from BH Photo, and I can't wait to open it up and share what's inside with you guys, so let's do that now. So, big heavy box. Yo, I selected Next Day Air from BH Photo, and it literally came the next day. So let's give y'all a little sneak peek in there. Bam. If you know, you know. Hard drives. Windows 11, I'm not sure if I'm gonna regret this, but hey, we there. Another hard drive. More RGB fans. So this right here is the i9-12900K. Unfortunately, my box has been destroyed in shipment, but it's not my fault, it's the way they shipped it. I mean, you could never have too much RGB. Here's my cooler, my AIO. And then last but not least, the power. Whoa. Oh, this is the 1200 watt. I thought I ordered the 1000. Well, I got the 1200 watt. <laughs> Boom, so as you guys can see, it's going down. This is about to be a crazy mega PC. i9, 12 gen. <laughs> I've been hearing a lot of great things, seeing a lot of great things, seeing that Intel finally Delivered, so we're gonna find that out for ourselves. I just had to check it out for ourselves because Intel been slacking for the last handful of years. We got our new Ducky keyboard that's gonna be paired with this. My next dilemma is gonna be getting all of the heat that this system's gonna produce out of the room while I'm gaming and streaming for you guys. So uh, there's more to this video, more to the build. I'm waiting on the case. Um, I gotta get a couple other things, but it's exciting, baby. PC in the building, let's go. What is up, gang? Yo, today we are building if you can see right here, I'm pretty sure you saw the title, might have saw the saucy thumbnail if I went saucy. We're building a new PC on the channel. This is going to be the whole kit and caboodle, the whole yada yada yada. Now I was going to keep it calm, cool, and collective, but I guess I just wouldn't be me. Typical old CJ, if I ain't go top of the mook and above and beyond with the tech ventures that I like to do. Now, as far as the GPU go, I have an extra 3080 and that's where we're gonna stick to for now, but when the new 40s come out, <laughs> fourth gen, whatever it's called, anyways, I'm going top of the MOOC, 4090. Now, I know, if you see this case and if you watch a lot of builds, this case is very popular. This Lee and Lee 011 dynamic, but this is the new one, the Evo. So, I've always wanted to build in this case, and anyone who has sense, you can look at this case and tell that it's ideal for cooling, it's ideal for the visual appeal. It just checks so many boxes. So let's build this PC, baby. So the first content of the case, we got our accessory box. Yeah. Her beauty, she's beautiful. All right, you guys, so basically right now, we're gonna get into the motherboard. I'm sure you guys wanna know what motherboard I went with. I went with the Asus Rogue Maximus Hero. And listen, player, you know, I didn't go top of the top of the move because I'm telling you, these Z690 motherboards are priced ridiculous. I mean, like, it's crazy. Now, this is a pretty premium motherboard. I'm just going gusto with this build, but you don't have to go this crazy. Nevertheless, we going crazy. Man. Oh, this is fire. So we're gonna pull it out of this. Now, what's crazy about this motherboard is it comes with a M2 SATA Caddy. It's own one that goes into a PCIe slot, which is actually pretty fire. 
I'm not sure what this dongle is for right here. If anyone knows what this is, let a player know. <laughs> so it's the Rogue Hyper M2 card. And you can put, it looks like there's like room for two M.2 cards. And they have the heat sinks and everything. This is actually pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or not. Uh, because we also have areas to place M.2 cards. I need to flip through this manual, you know what I mean? Find out where the most important things are, you know, the uh, ideal slots and everything. And then we'll get this build started. Boom. And bada bing, bada boom. See, I trust Samsung in more than just my phones. Nevertheless, RAM chips in, CPU in, two M.2 uh, storage drives are in the motherboard. Lee and Lee Galahan 360, baby. Going with the biggest water cooler we can fit in this case. Because we're going with the biggest chip <laughs> that we could throw in here. And that means heat. The 12900K is a hot bay. RGB fans included. Oh, this comes with the thermo paste. Oh, that's fire. I bought my own though. I'll show you guys uh, what I got as far as thermos go. So does this not come with pre? Oh, this is fire. Yes, this is perfect. I bought uh, thermo removal wipes for nothing because there is no thermo whatever on here. Yo, Lee and Lee is on point with theirs. So this is definitely the biggest radiator I've ever put inside of a PC to date. Pull this off right here. The first thing we're gonna do is get our fans connected to this bad boy. Going this way. Like that, like that. Pretty sure it's these super long screws. All right, players, next move is to get this mounted onto here. I'm gonna flip this right here. And then as you can see, All right, so basically what I'm about to do is I want to apply this bracket for the radiator to my motherboard. Like so, sticks on, put these on, our standoffs. Then I'm gonna bring up the case, I'm gonna lay it down and I'm gonna put the motherboard on there. Let's just start building. I will say this, when I have one of my older cases, I think it's a Fantex case, it came with something like this to keep the screws. I wish. Lee and Lee, you guys need to do something like this. Let's peel this off. Okay, there it is. Had to give it a nice push in to get it locked in and seated in there well, but now we have our screws. Now listen, if you know you know, get yourself one of these, a magnetic, Screwdriver is gonna help you in these motherboard installs. Trust me. Now, as far as the radiator goes, it's gonna be sliding in right up here. All right, I'm seated in there the right way right now. Now there's two screws that go in on the top. Magnetic screwdriver, I'm telling you. All right, now we know for a fact that this radiator is going nowhere. Now I'm gonna run the cables through the slots. All right, my next move is to apply thermal grease to the CPU and then install the radiator onto the CPU. So for thermal grease, I'm gonna be using this, I think it's called Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. I did my little research and I like the applicator that this comes with. No, it's not cheap, but this is the bigger one. They have a smaller one, it's cheaper if you wanna go with that. So this has this really cool applicator, like nozzle to help you spread the thermal grease across the CPU nice and evenly. And that's the number one thing you wanna do. Boom, so we got this nice application. Oh, there it is. Woo, super thick. So it's like you apply and spread it on there nice and neat. 
I ain't gonna cap. I'm a little nervous. All right, so the ideal placement for your radiator hoses is downward at the bottom, but I can't. This hose does not allow for that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try side. I think, man, it seems like the be the more ideal way that this wants to go is like this. To be honest, plate is down, and this is the setup that we are going with, y'all. Big boy screwdriver. Start getting pressure between that cold plate and that CPU, baby. All right, I think our pressure is good. Now we have to wire our radiator pump, our fans, and all that kind of stuff. All right, we'll just tuck the cables like that. But first, this cable, we're going to pull through because this is going to go RGB. This can go out the back. Now, there is a cable that uh, connects all of the fans, but it's basically this cable. This is what all three fans are going to plug into. And then from here, this goes into the motherboard. So I want to plug in this motherboard portion via this slot right here, right on to there, boom, on the CPU fan portion of the motherboard. Next item that I want to open up and get is the power supply. Got a big boy power supply. Oh my goodness. We got a 1200 watt power supply. We will be going to a big boy graphics card in the future, so Never limit yourself is my motto. And the more power, the more that I can do. You never know what I end up, I might end up adding and doing uh, with all of this and stuff. So now I typically do Corsair power supplies. This is my first time going outside of Corsair. We're gonna see what this Be Quiet has to offer. We got the nice braided cables, fully modular, which is important. You only uh, attach what you need. Clearly labeled, which is a plus. Nice, big, beefy fan. This is gonna be fire. This is gonna be really, really good. I love braided cables. That's always a plus for me. A lot of beautiful braided cables. W. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get plugged in what cables I need, and I'll check in with y'all in a second. No Lee, many painstaking, sweat yielding hours later, <laughs> I mean many, we now are prepared to reveal the new Arctic, I, I don't really know what I'm going to name this, but the new gaming PC build with the i9-12900K. We have a 3080 temporarily in there now and a bunch of other tidbits that I'll explain to you in a brief moment, but let's show you this thing, boot up for the first time with the lights. So after finally getting Windows and all of the necessary drivers needed to have all of my equipment at this moment run efficiently, it's time to boot it up for you. 